The third day of the ongoing Tihar festival, also known as Yama Panchak, is being celebrated across the country today by observing Govardhan Puja, worshipping oxen, while the Newar community celebrate Mahapuja later this evening by worshipping their own soul. Meanwhile, on the political front, Prime Minister Sher Badr Deva has reiterated his willingness to ratify the US-funded MCC agreement. Good morning, I'm Abhide Shrestha, and these are the headlines of the hour. Govardhan Puja being performed today on the third day of the ongoing Tihar festival, the Newar community to celebrate Mahapuja this evening. New Year, Nepal Sambat 1142 starts. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Doba says words already given to the U.S. authority regarding the endorsement of the MCC agreement. Britain becomes the first country in the world to approve a potentially game-changing COVID-19 antiviral pill in a boost to the fight against the pandemic. And defending champions West Indies' journey at the ICC T20 World Cup ends after suffering a 20-run defeat to Sri Lanka. It's Yama Panchak, the third day of the ongoing festival of Tihar today. Traditionally, devotees clean their spaces with cow dung and worship Govardhan, an elevated structure built out of cow dung. It is believed that on this day, during the Dwapar area, Lord Krishna had carried and relocated Govardhan Mountain to save its residents from heavy rain. Devotees also worship the ox that is used to till lands throughout the year. Oxen are provided good food as a form of gratitude for their hard work. Meanwhile, the Newar community will also celebrate Mahapuja later this evening by worshipping their own soul. The Nepal Sambat also marks the New Year 1142 today. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deva has claimed that the parliament will endorse the American Assistance Millennium Challenge Corporation, or MCC. The U.S.-funded bill has been dubbed controversial, speculating that the agreement is not in the best interest of the country. Speaking at the Trivon International Airport yesterday upon his arrival after attending the Climate Summit COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland, Prime Minister Deva informed that he had given words to Deputy CEO of the MCC, Alexia Luthor II, regarding the endorsement of the MCC bill. Premier Deva added that the U.S. officer inquired him regarding the abrupt end of the Parliament session without ratifying the MCC. Premier Deva opined that since he himself and CPN Maoist Center Chairman Pushpa Kamal Dahal had assured the U.S. authority in terms of MCC ratification, the bill needed to be endorsed. Likewise, Premier Doba also spoke about his meeting with his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi that materialized on the sidelines of the climate meet. Premier Doba informed that he had urged India for regular supply of chemical fertilizers and opening the air route from Mahindranagar, among others. The Prime Minister also briefed about his meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden, st stating that President Biden had no difficulty recognizing him due to his Nepali traditional cap. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked the people in Parvat, Surkhet, among other places, what their take is on the exorbitant price hike on essential commodities during the festive season. Let's take a look at what they had to say. It's time now for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion. Here's the question, what should be done to minimize the impacts of climate change? Your options are A, use alternative energy, B, conserve forests, and C, curb industrial pollution. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Happy Tihar!